Hello, West Haven. Allow me on behalf of uh, my family to wish you all a happy and blessed Christmas and a most prosperous new year to come in the year 2021. I want to speak to you tonight about a subject matter on tonight's agenda for the West Haven City Council. Tonight, the City Council will be voting on a resolution. The resolution basically states whether or not racism is a public health crisis in the city of West Haven. Now, I'm not speaking to you about whether or not racism is or is not a public health crisis in the city of West Haven. What I'm speaking about is how a committee was formed to come up with this resolution. A resolution that has not been publicized. A resolution that has not been shown to the people of West Haven for West Haveners to even give an opinion. So due to the COVID-19 restrictions with West Haven City Council, now uh, all public comments are submitted to the clerk of the council and the clerk of the council, Stacy Riccio, then reads those comments. So I have submitted my comments regarding the resolution and the committee that chose to uh, put the wording together for the resolution. And my comments are as follows. Greetings, Mayor Rossi, Chairman Quagliani, and the members of the City Council. I wish you and Mrs. Riccio a happy and blessed Christmas season and New Year. I am speaking this evening regarding Communication F on your agenda. The communication is from Mayor Nancy Rossi regarding a public health resolution. To be specific, it is regarding the declaration proclaiming racism as a public health emergency in the city of West Haven. Last summer, the mayor formed a committee to come up with a resolution to present to the city council that would declare racism a public health crisis in the city of West Haven. The committee became known as the West Haven Community Alliance. Going forward, I will refer to the West Haven Community Alliance as WHCA Committee. The WHCA Committee membership was made up of 10 members. They were the mayor, four city councilwomen, the chief and deputy chief of police, the chairman of the West Haven Democratic Party, and two laypersons who were a Reverend Clark and the leader of the local Black Lives Matter movement. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank those committee members for their hard work and dedication to their task. I would also like to thank and congratulate Councilwoman Trine McGee on her leadership. I attended the November 18th and the December 2nd meetings of the WHCA committee. Several Board of Education matters were discussed regarding the racial makeup of faculty members that the Board of Education has on staff. Out of the 10 members of the committee, none of them serve on the Board of Education, nor are employed as educators by the board. To my knowledge, none of the committee members are members of West Haven's Republican Party. Also, with the goal of the WHCA committee to present a resolution to the city council asking the council to proclaim a public health crisis, 
there is surprisingly no representation from the city's health department, whether it be staff or members of the Board of Health. And to my knowledge, there are no healthcare professionals serving on the WHCA committee. Having had a long discussion with the West Haven Director of Health, Maureen Lillis, she suggested to me that I nominate to the mayor the name of Dr. Ahmed Mohammed of Orange, who is working on a similar resolution in the town of Orange. Dr. Mohammed also works closely with Director Lillis in the city's response to COVID-19. So he's very familiar with West Haven. In an email to the mayor a month ago, I made recommendations regarding Dr. Mohammed and adding more diversity to the WHCA committee. A larger committee would, would make the goals of the WHCA more successful. As of noon today, neither the mayor nor anyone from her staff has replied to my email. At this time, I am asking the city council to hold off on voting on communication F until Mayor Rossi has added committee members to the WHCA with a full background of expertise and bipartisanship to properly give input to the proposed resolution. I am also proposing that the final verbiage of the, of the resolution be published in print media and the city website to allow the West Haven public to be fully aware of the wording and allow them to ask questions of WHCA committee members and their respective city council persons regarding said resolution before it is voted on. As I stated to Mayor Rossi in my email, I am more than willing to assist her in finding additional WHCA members that are open-minded and will be good fits to the task at hand. Please feel free, Mayor Rossi, to reach out to me at any time to further discuss diversifying the WHCA committee. Thank you. And again, Christmas and New Year's blessings. Commissioner Stephen R. Mullins, Oak Road, Allentown. Thank you.